Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself here on my channel. And if you are new, I just wanna welcome you. And if you're an OG, you already know the deal. Um, Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Yes, if you are new, I would love for you guys to be a part of the family. Hit the bell because it's gonna let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. Yes. And deal. if you can tell from the title, it is time for favorites time. And yes, y'all, y'all gonna have to excuse me and forgive me because I left my FC glam bag right over there. And y'all, I mean, I left the bag, the actual bag that I wanted to show you guys because the November winner did not claim it. So you know what I decided to do? Instead of picking a new winner, I decided I'm going to give two bags this month. Uh, and it was because it was December and January. I'm going to give the two bags, one for December, one for January, because this is December and January favorites. I did not do a December favorites because I did come back with the best of in beauty for 2017, but I definitely want to jump right in this because I have a lot of things to talk about. And we are also going to be talking about the best and worst or the favorites and flops of my Ipsy Glam Bag and BoxyCharm. So let's just jump right in let's start off with hair and y'all i had to come with this first because i felt like if i didn't this is how i'm finding out when something's really good i run out of it before i can talk to you guys about it and this is the bell nouveau creamy castor custard deep conditioning treatment it's vegan and protein free so for you gals that have issues with coconut oil this is going to be amazing for you because it does not contain coconut oil. I am coming with a coconut free guide for you hyperosity. I didn't know with so many of you guys that, that have coconut oil issues. My hair loves coconut oil, but I definitely want to do that for you guys. But this is amazing. I have not done a review on this, but I am going to talk about Belle Nouveau because I have some other items, but it smells so good. It smells like buttercream cake. It smells so good but i felt like I, you know one more use this will be gone so i wanted to come with this and it is amazing <sighs> i need to find out where this is this is the aloe vera super wet this is for a natural look it is uh yeah it is amazing this is cruelty free it's a styling gel it is glycerin free y'all this is what i have in my hair right now it is amazing and i'm gonna have to figure out where i can get this from it has spanish on the back so it is definitely oh there's a website never mind it's a favorite and it is now a favorite of all time and let's just jump right into skincare this l'oreal hydrogenous this is for no more dry skin y'all i'm almost out of this this is my girl Andrea Renee talked about this and I totally agree with her. I got this when it first started out, but she was like, girl, this is like the aqua bomb. It is so, that is so true. So if you, you know, aqua bomb by belief from Sephora, that can be a bit pricey, but if you can get your hands on this, I think I paid like 20 bucks for this moisturizer, which is a good deal for a really good moisturizer. It smells amazing and it really does, my makeup does definitely glide on and absorbs very well you don't get that greasy look and feel and this is just super moisturizing I love using this it's almost gone that's how you can tell it's good well this is another drugstore um, skincare item but this you use at night this is the derma e hydrating night cream this is so good it is super thick but y'all when I say that this and a serum at night um the serum i'm gonna show you is magic yes love this it is so good so what i do with that is i actually take my sunday riley luna oil and i actually take a couple of drops of this i mix it with this and i put it over my face and my serum and my moisturizer bada bing bada boom i am done and ready for bed i wake up with skin just as good as Joseph's. Yes, with baby skin. So I love these two as a combo. But Sun and Riley can never do you any wrong. The Luna oil is amazing. Let me know if you guys have tried this. I do have a travel set of this, but this is amazing, y'all. And it's a holy grail 
product okay so the next one i have one more this is the kills ultra ultra this is the kills let me try that again this is the kills ultra facial cream and it is amazing it's a hydrating formula with glacial glycoproteins and desert plants so yeah i love this love it it really doesn't have a scent which i am totally fine with because if it smells too chemically lets me know we got some chemicals in there but i really do enjoy this it's super thick it's great it's good for the day it's good at night it is a it says it's a 24 24 hour lightly textured but would i use this yeah i use this during the day i don't know if you're oily i don't I don't I wouldn't recommend this one I definitely would recommend the hydrogenous though or the aqua bomb because those are gel this is more of a cream and yeah those are my moisturizers this y'all this is my big bottle this is the micro delivery exfoliating wash by philosophy this is amazing I love this I was getting like little bumps but I did not realize it was because I was not exfoliating every day my skin likes for me to exfoliate every day gently so I've been using this and no breakouts like no bumps nothing and you can get breakouts for not exfoliating and not getting off of that dead skin and you know your face not being able to breathe but this is good so yeah oh another skincare product this is called feel renewed i got this in an ipsy glam bag like a couple of months ago y'all this is so good this is the pumpkin walnut facial cleanser and it's a deep cleansing treatment but exfoliates and cleanses your skin this is epic 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 i have to get some more of this but it is so so good it's amazing it has some really really good ingredients so um, like bamboo stem powder it has pumpkin seed oil walnut shell powder it is it's really good so donna karen cashmere mist deodorant if you are a if you're like aluminum free then don't watch this part because this might you know make you feel some kind of way but this smells so good like i do not i am i love nice scents and everything this makes me smell amazing yes so glad I got this and Tiffany makeup by Tiffany D recommended this and y'all this is a good deodorant oh my goodness keeps me dry all day and I smell like an elegant breeze that's what I smell like <sighs> y'all it while I was sleeping I was sleeping on this this is the makeup forever these are the artist blushes I was sleeping but I'm woke la gente stay woke this is so good this blush is this b is this b b402 y'all whoever came up with this formula needs to get a raise seriously this is they're so pigmented they last all day i need to get a pink like a pinky shade I think all of the ones that I have are like an orange. This is stunning. Stunning. Mommy. Stunning. Okay. If you're deep skin tone, you're going to love. But these are amazing. Even the contour powder. The formulation of these are very smooth, very blendable. And I love these. So all the highlighters, the bronzers, and the blushes are A1 by Makeup Forever. I love these. I have been really enjoying this Makeup Shayla palette by Maybelline. I have it on my eyes today. I feel like it is an effortless an effortless look. And it also these shades are like crazy pigmented. This purple? What? And uh yeah. This is so so good. You can use this. I love that it has a black in here. I mean, it was well thought of. Um, kudos to Makeup Shayla. I really do like this palette and the pigmentation. I love the end corner. I could use, actually, I said I was going to use this as a highlight. This right here is on the like highest point of my cheek, cheekbone. I love this. Hourglass Ambient Light Palette, Lighting Palette. Epic. My girl, Jordan vargas told me she was like girl take a duo fiber brush and buff this on your skin 
life-changing. I take my dual, dual fiber brush like Jordan told me. I can sweep it across and I just, and it gives me such the soft focus, like beautiful. I don't know if y'all can even see this shine, sheen. This, epic, one of my favorite, one of my favorites now. I have been loving this. Y'all, I have been showing this from Sky Organics on Snapchat. And these are their bath bombs. These are bomb, okay? If you don't have the money for Lush, Sky Organics is the way to go. I really do enjoy this. It comes in this beautiful box. I've used the cake, the bath bombs. I've used the shower steamers. Uh, Y'all, highly recommend this brand. Like, this is the, like, I've used like maybe four or five of those. And at first, uh, at first I really wasn't a bath person for a while. After I got out of college, being in the shower all the time, really, you know, sitting down in a bath is something that you can't do with two like rambunctious little boys. No, I'm just kidding. But um, I just wasn't doing the baths, but sister doing them now, okay? Okay, so let's get into my Ipsy Glam Bag and to the BoxyCharm, let you know what my favorites and my fails are from there. Don't forget to that I'm doing a giveaway as well. I will put all the information down below, but let's get straight into the preliminaries. Let's get it straight into, you know, what we like, what we don't like. Okay. So first of all, let me tell you what I am in love with. And it is the Bella P Air Stay Put Brow Gel. Y'all, this is the truth. I don't even need a brow, like, I don't need a brow gel. Like this says stay put. This is your pomade and your brow gel all in one. I love the brush. I have been using it nonstop. This is genius. It is a dupe to the Cabral, I will say that. But this is so friendly. This is like user friendly. I think this is a full size product. If this is a if this is a deluxe size, then it's gonna take me forever to use this. This is in the shade Licorice. I felt like this was the sh perfect shade. I feel like that. If she was really listening even to down to my shade of something that I would try. I have it on my brows today. I really do like it and my brows are not going anywhere. So Bella Priere, you got my thumbs up on that. Okay, this was the Ipsy Glam Bag for January, by the way. I've been testing them all month. And the next item, let me, let's go to a, I'll, I'll do the flops at the end. Okay. So the next, the next lip lingerie, I like these, but these are a bit dry. Uh, but when I mix it with something, it is epic. I really do like it and you can always mix them. So I, there it's okay. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite formula. I know a lot of people that do like these and when I mix it, so I give it a okay. The next item, let's talk about the real chemistry, the cleansing foam. This was good. This was really good. And um, it was just a, a nice wash, okay? It was a nice facial wash. So if you are looking for something that is cruelty free, it says fresh start, it has amino acids, it's non drying, it's hydrating and conditioning. I will agree with that. So this is a brand that I would look into. So yes, this did okay. It wasn't mind blowing, but it wasn't horrible. Now this product right here, mama not using no more. This is the Lou, and y'all can see how much I use. The Lou by Jen Seo. This broke me out. And I used it by itself. For, at first I was like, ooh, I used too many things at one time. Let me simmer down and just use one at a time. This left a rash on my face and I was itchy and it gave so much texture won't be using that so um what is the fifth item oh the contour y'all the reason why I forgot about that is because I've been using the if you want to see the unboxing definitely look in the eye cards but the city color contour oh my goodness that's in my purse it's in my purse love that okay so this one and that one I will be using until it's gone the city colors it was so smooth very blendable I felt like that it is something it was compact I really like it the only thing I did I wish it had was a mirror but city colors are inexpensive I can deal okay so two out of let's see we'll say three out of the five is pretty good 
Um, this one, oh no. Like, this is getting decluttered. This I'll use until it's gone because it was nice. Um, and I can use it for travel. That's the other great thing is that you can use it for travel. So, yes, three out of five stars. And the bag. So, four stars. You get Epsi for this week or this month. Let's talk about this boxy charm, okay? I already I already did a review, so you guys can check that out. Or I did a try on, and I did it for the Ipsy glam bag as well. But let's talk about some of these items. The Grande lips. I like this a lot. This was unexpected. I like it a lot. I'm gonna be using it in spring and summer just because of the shade. But I really do like it. I did feel juicy and voluptuous in my lips. So yes, and it's a full size item. So yeah. I really do like that. Love this. This is the Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. This is the Pores No More. I love this so much because I like a radiant smoothing primer. So it's a two in one. This is a winner for me. Yes, I was trying it out and I loved it. The next item is the Pure Bronze and Brighten. This is good. I really do like this, but I feel like that this is a summer this is a spring summer palette. It has a mirror, so definitely has me intrigued. I wanna try more pure items. They definitely have been like on point with their items, so really do like this. Let's talk about this crown brush, okay? This, I particularly will not keep this in my collection, y'all, and let me tell you why. I like it, the shades are beautiful. It looks nice on the eyes. I came out with a nice look, but I have a rule now because I can't keep bringing stuff into my collection. My rule is that if I can't use it by itself, then I can't keep it because then that means I have to pull for other things. And I really don't want to do that. These are so beautiful. They're metallic. I feel like I'm going to pass this on to one of my sisters. I really did like the colors. It was just that it only has one matte and it's the black. And the black is okay. It's not the best. Like, no. <sighs> Unfortunately, this, no bueno. No bueno para me. I would say these are things that I would continue to use. I am missing something. Why I keep missing things? Oh, another brow pencil. That's why I couldn't figure out what it was. It Cosmetics, the universal brow. I love it. I thought it was going to be a little bit too warm, but y'all, my brows, like my brow game, it, it, it's very easy to use. I feel like it's beginner friendly. My sister used it before and she really loved it. I think I might package it up and send it over to her though, because I have so many brow products and I wanted to get through and she really liked that product. So that's it you guys I hope you guys like this format I know that this one was a little bit longer but it was January and December so bear with me it won't be as long next time okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also enter the giveaway down below like I said I'm gonna give away two ipsy glam bags this month and it's just a way of me appreciating you guys coming back over and over again it's just an appreciation to you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye.